So let's do this fun, interesting uh, temperature problem. It says, what is the temperature that gives us the same number on both the Fahrenheit and the Celsius scale? Okay. So in order to do that, you want to think of, well, what is it asking kind of mathematically? So the temperature of Fahrenheit of this, this number is going to be x. We'll just give it a value of x. So x degrees Fahrenheit. And the temperature Celsius all, also equals x. Okay, so it's going to be x Celsius. Okay, so x equals x, of course. So in this problem, remember your, you're going to have to remember your um, temperature conversion equation. So degrees Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32. So in order to do this, you're going to have to plug in x for both degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. So nothing special. So the problem sounds scary at first, but really when you think about it mathemati mathematically, it's not so bad. Okay, so that's where we are. We'll just plug those into the values, right? Because if it had said 32 Celsius or something like that, we would have plugged 32 there. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Okay. And we would have been finding Fahrenheit or something like this. Okay, so now let's rearrange this equation to solve for x because that's what we're going to have to do. So x equals this number, so it's going to be x, we're going to bring this over, minus 1.8, x equals 32. So this is like 1x, okay? So 1 minus 1.8 is going to be minus 0.8x, like that. And that still equals 32. And then what we're going to do is divide by both sides by negative 0 0.8. So x is going to equal 32 divided by negative 0 0.8. And that should give us the answer. So 32 divided by negative 0.8. And I get number negative. 40 degrees. So that number, negative 40 degrees, if I if it's negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, then that means it's negative 40 degrees Celsius. Okay? So that would be that Let's uh, take that number in the next problem and convert it to Kelvin.